Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to demonstrate you practical number 6 of computer network. In this practical, I am going to uh, use RIP V2 and I am going to create 3 network and in each network, I will be having 3 machines. I will be showing you connectivity as well as I will be showing you how you can ping from one network to another network. So here you can see this is what my topology or interface. See this is one network, this is another network and this is another network. So if I want to send packet from this network to this network or this network, I can send. Okay, so different networks. So here I'm just sending packet from this network to this network and you can see it's showing me successfully. Okay, so this is what our practical, I will be demonstrating you step by step how you can connect PCs, routers and switches and how you can configure your router for RIP V1. So let's start the video. Okay guys, I have started my Cisco packet tracer. Now I will be showing you how to create topology. So from network devices, you select your router. So I'm selecting PT router. So you can just press control and select this because I need three router. So rather than going uh, and selecting again and again, you can just press control and select that. So now I have uh, released my control button and I'm just clicking over here and one more router over here, one more router over here. So router 0, router 1, router 2. Okay, after taking router, I will be taking switches. So here I'm going to select PT switch. So again, press control and select this PT switch and drop it guys over here. Okay, so my three router done. Now in each network, I'm going to take three PCs. So I'm going to go to end devices and here I'm going to select PC. So again, press control and select this PC. So I need three PC, one, two, three. Then in this network also, I need three PC. So if you press control, then it becomes easy. So done, I have taken three PC. Now we will be connecting through cables. So let's go to this connection. And now I will be taking this automatically choose connection because uh, for each connection, I need different router to router is different router to switch is different. So better let's uh, this decide automatically what connection or cable I need. So again, you can press control and select this. And now guys, you can just click here and just drop here. And then click here, drop here, click here, drop here, and then this to this. Okay. Okay. So this is done. Now let me connect router to router. So for router to router, this type of cable is used. So I'll show you over here this cable, serial DT cable is used. Okay. So guys, my uh, connection is also done. Now let's assign IP addresses to PCs and then we will go to router for configuring it. Okay, so now I'll just click on this PC and here I will go to desktop and IP configuration. Okay, before assigning this IP configuration, I would like to show you one table that will make uh, your understanding clear like what IP addresses you can assign. So guys, you can see here for PC, I'm assigning IP address as 10.10.2 and I'm taking default uh, gateway as what 10.10.10.1. So if you see here PC0, PC1, PC2, they are in one network. So I have given uh, this default gateway same. Uh, IP addresses I'm giving 10.10.10.2 and for this machine 3 and for this machine 4 and this is what my network address it will be in a range 10.10.10.0 okay so for PC number 3 to PC number 5 I'm taking 20.20.20.2 20.20.20.3 and 20.20.20.4 this will be IP addresses for my machines and this is going to be what default gateway so 20.20.20.1 .20 and this is going to be my uh, I network address okay and similarly for pc6 to pc7 i have taken 30.30.30.2 30 30 3 and 4 and i'm taking default gateway as 30.30.1 30 for all pcs and this is what my network address okay so let's first complete this part and then i'll 
explain you this router configuration okay so here i'm going to select this pc and now here we will be assigning default gateway so just now i have shown you i'm going to assign default gateway for this machine as 10.10.1 for all this three machine i will be taking the same default gateway and here i'm going to give ip address as 10.10.2 and just press star and subnet mask has been generated cross it now select the second machine go to desktop ip configuration and then here my ip address is going to be 3 and then my default gateway is going to be 10.10.10.1 okay take this machine go to desktop configuration and here this is going to be 4 and then guys this you have to take 10.10.10.1 .10 done okay so for this we are done now let's go to this Okay, so for this, I'm taking 20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.20.
to this router so i am going to assign 40.40.40.2 to this as well as you can see this is connected to this so i will assign gigabit address also so now again i will go to ip config and fast ethernet just switch on it and assign the address of this network so my second network is having what uh, 20.20.20.1 so I've just assigned that and go to serial 2 and now guys here you can see this is connected to two serial port okay here and here so I need to assign IP address of this range so I give 40.40.40.12 router 0 so here I'm going to give 40.40.40.2 and guys don't forget to switch on this router and now go to serial 30 and one more thing i would like to show you whatever setting you are doing you can see uh, it's showing over here command line interface so uh, this command is generated over here so and type the command here also and you can do okay i find config easy so hence i'm doing so now here i will be assigning network address to this router so let's take network address as 50.50.50.1 .50 so this is done and i'm going to switch on this okay now i will go over here now you can see it's showing me in green i will go over here i will again sell, go to config and here i'm going to select fast ethernet and now here uh, i will assign network address of this so that is 30.30.30.1 and guys i'm going to switch on this and then i will go to serial 2 now this is connected to only router number one so i'm going to uh, uh, give ip address which are in range of router number one so 50.50.50.2 okay so this is what done ip configuration is done i'll just switch on this so ip configuration for all devices as well as for router is done okay guys now let's do rip setting for router number zero so just select this and go to rip and guys you can see by default it is showing me rip routing not version 2 okay so i need to change the version so you can just go to the cli and here you can type version space 2 and hit enter okay now let's go to config again and rip and guys you can see now it's showing me version 2 and now let's add the addresses of the network so my this router is connected to whatever network i need to assign the network over here and i want to do communication to all the network so i will be assigning all network address so first network address is 10.0.0.0 so let's do that add that okay now the next 20 so 20 add it next is 30 and guys you can see below in my cli the lines are getting generated so you can do through this uh, rip config or you can go to cli and do from there also so next is 40 and now we have 50 okay so this is done now i'll just close this and let's go to router number one go to cl R select rip here and you can see now i'm not having v2 so go to cli and here type version space 2 and hit enter and come back to config again and now here select rip and add the addresses so 10 20 30 then 40 then 50 okay so for uh, router 1 also done let's go to router number 2 let's go to cli and here we will type version and 2 just hit enter and select this config rip and you can see it's showing me v2 at the addresses 10 20 30 40 50 so i'll do that quickly okay so guys my router uh, 2 setting also done our ipv2 setting also done okay guys so let's verify the connection so let's take simple pdu 
and let me select pc1 from network and and pc3 from network 2 okay it's showing me successful similarly you can verify other network also for example i'm selecting this pc and let me show you through command prompt also so ping i'm going to select 30.30.30.2 and let me hit enter so it's taking time request timeout but it's showing other packets so three packets has been received and one lost no problem the connection is done it's showing you what reply of at least three packets okay so this was all about guys how you can do setting of rip v2 so guys i hope by following my video you are able to successfully complete this practical if yes then don't forget to hit on like button and guys if you have any kind of query you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel for more such video and guys i have given my uh, telegram link in description box you can join that channel i am sharing lots of pdf related to programming coding freely on my telegram channel so you can join that also thank you guys for watching my video till end i'll see you in my next video till that bye bye and take care